your Chris 6 weather forecast. Absolutely fantastic. I just love to see stories like that, especially early in the morning. All right, congrats, Julia. As we take a look at what we have going on uh, across the region this morning, plenty of uh, fog across the area, but mainly into our northern county. So you can see a little bit over with our uh, B uh, County live uh, weather bug camera out here where we have 51 degrees east northeasterly winds only coming in at five miles per hour. And again, that's the uh, spot where we are seeing the most dense fog out at the reporting station, still reporting zero visibility out there. It has improved over in Ingleside, so that's some good news, uh, but still holding on to about seven miles over in Rockport. So officially out at the airport, we're at 58 degrees, cloudy skies all across the region. You can see uh, Beeville still reporting that foggy condition. They're at 51 there, but ranging about 57 to 58 from Alice Kingsville and on over towards Heavenville. Out in Robstown, still into the lower 60s. So as we look at the morning weather headlines, again, another round of that fog is out there, but it's patchy as I just showed you. So still use caution across the region. And the winds are not going to be bad for today. Still going to be mild out there, a little bit more cloud coverage, but those winds will increase by tomorrow and the temperatures are going to start to go up too and that's going to lead to a windy and warm weekend not going to last long though it'll last all weekend but a cold front our next weather maker arrives on monday so as we look at the uh, wind forecast for this afternoon notice that that southeasterly wind just not too bad but watch what happens as we go into tomorrow. We start off with light winds in the morning. This will lead to another round of some fog across the area, and then we're going to see a noticeable amount of uh, stronger winds across the region out of the south southeast, anywhere between 15 to 25. So right now we have the cloud coverage in place. I wish there was some rainfall in some of those clouds, but no, it's just clouds at this point against some low level fog. And again, our frontal boundaries are up to the north and a lot of the moisture, as you can see right there, we have some snow showers in the central and northern plains. That's where that's going to stay. So this is our next weather maker that we're going to be keeping an eye on. As we head into this weekend, the frontal boundary will enter the northern part of the state. It's going to be windy and it's going to be warm here into the coastal bend. Then as we head towards a Monday morning, that frontal boundary will come in only a couple of isolated showers are expected across the region. In fact, as we look at the uh, five day rainfall forecast, the best opportunity is basically up around San Antonio, extending on into East Texas and of course up in the northern parts of the state here all the way through the weekend. The opportunity for rain here just not there. And then on Monday it starts to move into the northern sections of the coastal bend. And then as the frontal boundary continues to ease on down to the south, we'll start to see a couple of isolated showers there and fingers crossed. Hopefully you get a little bit of rainfall there because that presents our best opportunity over the next seven days after that frontal boundary goes by will begin to dry out, staying cool and cloudy. Uh, but again, the rainfall opportunity goes away. We'll be looking for those warm temperatures as, as far as going into the weekend because high pressure will be in control. A couple of little disturbances off to the west. That's what's eventually going to drive the frontal boundary into the region, and it'll be this upper level disturbance that moves into North Texas on Monday morning. That will be enough force to get that frontal boundary through. But again, after that, most of the cold air remains up to the north of us, and again, we'll start to dry out once again. So 75 for today, 79 as we go into tomorrow. Over the weekend, humid, warm. Windy as well, afternoon highs into the lower 80s. And then on Monday, that frontal boundary comes in. A few isolated showers across the area and then back into the 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. And by the way, again, read across America. I was out in Flower Bluff Primary yesterday. Nice. And oh, it was fun. These little kiddos there, they were a lively bunch. They were very good <laughs> listeners like as far as like I, I read about Texas history because it was Texas Independence Day yesterday. So it was fun. I want to thank the folks over at uh, Flower Bluff Primary and uh, thank you for having me. And we have more of that coming up. So follow us here over